In this video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of ways that you can share content on your Facebook page. And one of these things is something that I've just learned and it could be potentially huge. Now, when you grow on a Facebook page, you'll know that certain posts do much better than others. I've often found that if I share a nice image but there's no link anywhere, Facebook will often push that post more than if I try to use my link and have Facebook pull in the image directly from my website. And in that case, oftentimes it doesn't do as well, which kind of, you know, is a problem because we want to get people from our page onto our site. We're not just creating a fan page for fun. So what you can do is this. So make sure you're logged into your Facebook fan page and click on this Meta Business Suite here, which will take you here. And then you wanna click on Planner, which will take you here. And this could be empty or it could be full of things that you're gonna schedule. So I'm gonna schedule a post for Saturday, the 7th of September. So we're gonna click Schedule Post. And then I'm just gonna close this off. I'm gonna remove my Instagram account because I'm not bothered with Instagram. And then I'm gonna upload a photo. So I'm gonna choose a photo that I've already got ready on my computer. We'll go with this nice one of Japan and Mount Fuji, which is gonna populate. Now, if I just make a little comment and say Mount Fuji, beautiful, and schedule this post, it's probably gonna get pushed a lot by the algorithm, but I'm gonna get nobody clicking through to my site because there's nowhere to click. So what I could do is I could get rid of this and then I could go and grab a related URL, come back here, and then I could come down here and click on this link. Then I can grab the URL to a blog post which has that actual image in it, come back, paste the link, wait for a couple of seconds, and when this preview headline comes up, I can hit save. So we've got the same image, but now we have a link here which takes people to our site, which sounds great, but unfortunately, this isn't gonna get us the results we want most likely because we've got a link here which is not Facebook, so Facebook is gonna basically restrict how many people it shows this to, which is quite frustrating. So what we can do is we can do this. We can go back and do the original thing of adding a photo, so we'll add the photo. Then I can put a little bit of text in here if I want to. So I could just call this Mount Fuji. And then what we can do is we can click on Schedule. However, there's one more thing that we can do. We're not gonna boost this, we'll wait for this. We can see it here. Now, if we come here, we'll get this little image popping up here in a second. Now, if we click on this, we can now comment. So I can just leave the URL to my site, make sure that I've got the right one, and I could put that in there, and then I can comment. So this is actually scheduling this post, but there's a comment in here. And I didn't realize that you could actually schedule these posts and leave a comment in the description. What I've been doing is waiting until the post has been public and then going back in and adding a comment, but oftentimes I'm asleep when that happens, so I've got to wait seven or eight hours till I get back online. And this is a really cool way of doing things. Now we can just kind of go back, which will take us back to the planner. Then we can double check that it's still there, which it will be. We'll wait for it to load up. We'll click on it. And then if we wait for that, we can come down here and we can see there's a comment here. What you can also do is you can kind of click down here and you get the comment kind of pop up. Then you can click on comment and you've actually got the comment there. And this is another way for you to add the comment as well. And again, you can publish this now, but ideally this is meant to be scheduled so that when the post goes live, there's no kind of call to action in the text above the picture. We've then got this really nice image and then people can just kind of come down and find the link. And I find that this often works to get the post shown. Now, if you try to be clever and above the actual image, you put things like, you know, check the first link in the comments or something, you know, that means the same thing. Facebook, I don't know this for sure, but I'm guessing that Facebook somewhere has a list of words or they use AI to kind of figure out that you're trying to get people down into the comments to actually, you know, click a link. And that can often, in my opinion, prevent the post from being shown as much. But if you don't say anything and you just put a nice picture, something that's about the picture, like one or two words, and then put the comment below and that's it, then you will find that oftentimes the post will get shown to more people. So I hope that has uh, provided some value. This is something that I didn't even know you could do until very recently. It's obviously been there for a while, but I didn't know. So I guess a lot of other people didn't know as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.